Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kazoo here, and welcome to episode 19 of Skilling to Glory. Today, we're going to be making a brand new squad around the new five star skiller, Rock Hala. You can see him on the screen, and uh, you can also see at the gold section that we have unlocked one gold skiller. And uh, that's because in yesterday's episode, we managed to pack a gold five star skiller in the Alessandro. So, uh, very looking forward to, uh, to play with that squad. And uh, you can see him right there, Rock Hala, South African right wing, a place for Orlando Pirates. And um, he's the first new skiller on the second page. So uh, we move on to the challenges. The first one is score four goals with the unlockable player. The second one is score five skill goals. And uh, the third one is uh, called Showboat, which is basically kind of a, a, a signature kind of thing to Rakala since he's incredible when it comes to skill moves. Uh, we basically have to score a skill goal, which consists of an in-air skill move. Can be a rainbow flicker, in-air lost skill, all that kind of stuff. Um, I will leave a link in the description to a video where uh, you can see like some crazy skills pulled off by Rakala in real life, since he's insane when it comes to skill moves. Um, if there are any South African guys watching, then uh, feel free to let me know how he actually plays on a regular basis, because that video is just insane. And um, yeah, I really like to know how he kind of plays in real life as well. But um, this is the team, false nine formation. You can see right there, the Alessandro, we managed to pack him in the previous episode. We're playing him as uh, one of the center mids. Then uh, as the false nine, we have Aguero, four star skiller at the left winger. We have Inform Perotti, four star skill moves and five star weak foot. Looks amazing. And then on the right wing, we of course have the main man of the team, Tabo Rakhale. Plays for Orlando Pirates um, with the Hawk chemistry style. 77 pace, 75 dribbling, 64 shooting and 68 passing. He is not the strongest again, but um, that's kind of a common thing with those uh, low rated silver 5 star skillers. But um, still very looking forward to play with the team since for me it was I think the first time using him. And it is also the first time he's a 5 star skiller in Ultimate Team, so uh, I never used him before basically. When it comes to the kits, I decided to go with uh, two kind of uh, classic kits which are kind of related to D'Alessandro uh, since he both played for those teams. Uh, River Plate and uh, Porto Alegre or Internacional is, uh, is the name actually. Uh, from the Brazilian league and um, yeah we move on it will be the first game we come against a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow team Serie A side and uh, we started things off after 24 minutes here with Gundogan uh, goes with the Berber spin goes with a powerful finesse shot just went wide the post that's the first chance we had in this game few minutes later another chance after some skill moves it is Del Alessandro on the ball uh, we managed to pick the ball up there after we managed to set through with some pressure we keep on going with some skill moves here with Alessandro a nice body feint shoots on goal and then from the rebound, it is uh, Rock Hala who actually taps it in for an open net and uh, makes it 1-0 in this game and also picks up his first goal. The two 5-star skillers already linking up uh, within uh, just 30 minutes or something. So uh, very nice to see that uh, we got the early goal with Rock Hala. Then 37th minute, few minutes later, he plays a through ball through my defense and uh, it is Muriel. I think it is, and um, yeah, he stays very calm, shoots it down the middle, and um, he makes it 1-1. Lori's not looking uh, very good there. I think he could have saved it, but um, yeah, it's all even. 40th minute on the stroke of halftime, so very nice stuff from Aguero. We cut in here with the Burber spin, and I think it was just too close at the goal in order to beat the defender, because the goalkeeper was there very quickly to get the ball and um, yeah, prevent uh, me from scoring. So um, yeah, moving into the second half. We have the ball on the right hand side with Rakala. Was uh, trying to go with some uh, inner skill moves. It was uh, kind of tricky to the, to beat the defenders. As you can see, that we they were very like near Rakala, and then all of a sudden we made a foul, which I uh, couldn't really understand since in my eyes I didn't really do anything wrong. But anyway, 60th minute after we lost the ball, he uh, picks the ball up here with Gabiadini, goes with some shielding, gets a shot in here, and uh, again Yoris there with a save. Then uh, a couple of minutes later, it's again Gabiadini going through there. My goalkeeper came out, he went with a chip shot, hits the crossbar. Then from the rebound, I want to clear away with Bahi, which he completely failed at. So uh, my opponent uh, got himself another chance, and this time it was a corner. So he crosses it in, Dallas Sandro heads it away, he picks it up with Asamoa. And then somehow he meant to score from a volley. It was Gundogan who uh, got the final touch onto the ball. And uh, it actually was allowed as an own goal in the end. Very annoying to uh, to concede a goal like that because I felt if uh, Gundogan uh, was controlled by myself, I was able to clear the ball away. But uh, unfortunately that didn't happen. Then towards the end of the game, again, Rakal on the right hand side going with some skill moves. Again, you can see it was very tricky to uh, beat the defender. But then we got past him. And then the referee decided to give me a free kick, even though I was already past him and I pretty much could have gone through on goal. Was very annoyed at that. We got a free kick, which um, I completely blew, basically, since I'm not the greatest at free kicks this year. And after it, my opponent decided to kind of time waste and just try to do everything to prevent me from scoring, even tackling me from uh, behind on just a really stupid uh, position on the field, basically. And uh, he got himself a red card at the end. 
And that's how it all ended, really. So very disappointing result. I think we could have easily uh, pushed it into extra time, but we ended up losing 2-1. to one. And uh, as I said, um, disappointing result, but we still got a uh, goal at Rakalas. So, um, yeah, I was happy with, uh, with that anyway. Then moving on, it will be the second game of the episode. Come up against a Premier League side in the 4-3-1-2 uh, formation. And uh, we start things off after 16 minutes with D'Alessandro. Again, uh, starting off with some skill moves. Pass it around a bit. A scoop turn there from Aguero. Goes with the 1-2 with D'Alessandro. After a nice ball, he gets the ball back. Then a very nice finish into the back of the net to make it 1-0 already. And this was seriously our first chance in the game. Then at uh, 28th minute, uh, he gets the ball with Rashford, plays it on through to Gabriel Jesus. I thought this was going to be the 1-1, one -one, then a very nice tackle there from Smalling. Uh, moving on almost at the end of the first half, Rakala there on the right-hand side again, uh, going with some skill moves. Uh, after some really nice play, he gets the ball back. And uh, also this guy was uh, tricky to uh, get past, especially on the wing. You can see two defenders uh, near uh, Rakala. And yeah, I just tried my best kind of... Uh, switching the ball up to the other side but then the pass was absolutely terrible I tried to beat his other defender there with Perotti but again couldn't break him down and um, yeah you can see halftime stats not a lot of stuff happened uh, my opponent played the ball around a lot which resulted in him having a lot of uh, a lot of possession and me not really creating that many chances but um, straight from kickoff we got a second big chance with Alessandro after some great skill was again but a uh, good save from his goalkeeper as well a few minutes later the Alessandro loses the ball my opponent goes on the attack here with Fernando Stays very calm. You can see from his kind of play style that he doesn't use the sprint button often. And um, yeah, he plays it on through to Sigurdsson, who's completely free. Stays calm and uh, shoots it past Joris to make it 1 1. Then 56 minutes, few minutes later, again, uh, Sigurdsson with a very big chance. This time a good save, though, from Joris, who uh, prevented uh, my opponent from scoring because it could have easily been 2 1 from him. Uh, on the counter in the 70th minute, we break through at Martial, one of the substitutes. Uh, we go for a fake shot there. Mane uh, runs inside the box. We go for a Rabona shot with Mane. And again, a very good save from his goalkeeper. So we also create some big chances, um, especially towards the end of the second half. Uh, here, Aguero going through. Uh, goes uh, with the pass there to D'Alessandro. Takes a shot and we get a header in with Rakala. Easy save though from De Gea. But uh, from the throw... We managed to get ourselves another chance after a very uh, bad first touch from his defender. We pick it up with Taiwo. Very nice flick. We cross it in to Agro, who gets a header in. And again, a good save from his keeper. And these were the final stats after 90 minutes. They were in our favor, but um, yeah, it was still 1-1. So uh, we had to go into extra time. And uh, we started off in the 96th minute on the right-hand side with Mane. A nice skill move there. Passed it on through to Rakala. But then all of a sudden, he went with a fancy shot. And I think at the time, I must have been holding uh, the LT button in the left trigger because otherwise he wouldn't have done the uh, fancy finish but um, yeah was annoyed at that because if he took a normal shot it maybe would have gone in despite that we get another chance with Marshall easy save again for his keeper then uh, in the 100th minute he went on the attack here with uh, Sigurdsson a bit of shooting work uh, yeah Gabriel Jesus makes a very nice run Goes through on goal and makes it 2-1 for uh, for my opponent. Then uh, a few minutes later, he gets himself another huge chance. Again, it is Gabriel Jesus with his weaker foot. Uh, gets a shot in, but it went wide. And uh, yeah, again, it could have easily been a goal for him. And uh, probably came over if he finished off those chances. Then uh, straight from kickoff in the second half of extra time, we break through here with Rakala. A very nice fake shot to put the defenders on the wrong foot. But then I took the shot far too early. I maybe should have dribbled towards the goal and then shoot or something. But um, yeah, despite that, we hit the crossbar. And we get ourselves another chance with Marshall after the ball got deflected. Good save from De Gea. Now from a corner, we got another chance. We cross it in with Rakala. It's Marshall at the back post with a header. And yet again, De Gea with an incredible save. And that's how the game ended, really. You can see from the stats, we had a lot of shots uh, towards the end of, uh, of this game. But um, again, we, uh, we just couldn't score and ended up losing this game as well. Annoying, but... Um, yeah, that's uh, that's how it sometimes goes in FIFA. So we move on and what will be the final game. We go up against a strong side, 4-3-2-1 formation with some uh, very strong players. And straight from kickoff, we went on a skill run. And uh, you will notice that one of his players wasn't moving. So I guess he just wasn't paying attention whilst I was on this skill run here with Perotti. We cut it back for a fake. So I'll pass it on through to Aguero, who taps it in. And we make it 1-0 within a minute. And then straight from kickoff, he decided to press start and rage quit. So... A very early skill goal, a very early rage quit as well. You all know the rules. Uh, we're not going to count this game when it comes to the games we have left. So, um, yeah, quick, a quick third game for this episode, I could say. So, um, yeah, we move on to, uh, to the skillers up where you can see we have only scored one goal so far with Rakala in uh, technically three games. 
But um, yeah, the first one was so short that we that we can't really count it as a game. But um, yeah, when it comes to the challenges, obviously haven't completed one so far, but um, scored one goal with him, scored two goals, which is uh, a decent start to this episode, I think. But anyway, that's where we're going to be ending off this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.